Your Excellency, President of the Human Rights Council, the High Commissioner for Human Rights, Your Excellencies, Heads of State and Government, distinguished delegates, very warm greetings from Khabaroni, Botswana. Mr. President, on the 10th December 1948, the United Nations General Assembly adopted the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. This monumental achievement was a fundamental breakthrough for humankind, being one of the foremost documents to elaborate the fundamental principles of human rights. Yesterday, the 10th December 2023, marked 75 years since that historic day, and it is only fitting that we gather today as a human family to commemorate such a momentous milestone in our collective history. Human rights are at the very center of all international and national issues humanity is confronted with today. This places a special responsibility on nation states, as well as the international human rights mechanism and bodies to periodically re-examine approaches, recalibrate responses, and rededicate themselves to ensure the fulfillment of the purpose and intent of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. On this occasion, we have the opportunity to recommit to ensuring that the full enjoyment of fundamental human rights and freedoms transcend the realm of aspiration and finds domain in the reality of the lives of all people. Botswana firmly believes that the human rights pillar of the United Nations is an integral and indispensable constitution for the effective attainment of human rights across all spheres of human endeavor. Our conviction is predicated on our national values and principles of democracy, inclusive governance, rule of law, and innate human values of compassion, dignity, sympathy, and courtesy, collectively rendered as Boto, upon which Botswana was founded and continues to be sustained. Botswana has ratified six out of the nine main human rights treaties and continues to strive towards comprehensive implementation, as well as timely reporting. As part of the fulfilling our obligations and commitments to the advancement of human rights, Botswana has issued a standing invitation to and is committed to cooperating with all United Nations human rights mechanisms, special procedures, and mandate holders. Mr. President, Botswana is deeply concerned by and strongly condemns the increasing global incidences of human rights violations, with some of them likely befitting the category of gross violations. This is a flagrant departure from the virtuous ambitions we espoused in the United Nations Charter and the United Nations Declaration on Human Rights. As members of the global community, it is our solemn duty and responsibility to commit the necessary political will and resources towards the noble ideals we signed up to. This is not only for current populations, but also to bequeath upon the youth and future generations a world in which they can thrive and reach their fullest potential. Mr. President, I wish to seize this opportunity to reaffirm Botswana's commitment to advancing human rights and freedoms at the national level and globally. In that connection, allow me at this juncture to make the following pledges. Firstly, Botswana will enhance opportunities for the economic empowerment of citizens by 2024, particularly youth, women, and people living with disabilities through increased public investment programs, including agricultural development, water articulation, land ownership, and bridging the div digital divide. Secondly, Botswana will continuously strengthen the national human rights institution to ensure full alignment to the Paris principles. Thirdly, Botswana will continue to adopt measures to address and combat gender-based violence. Fourthly, Botswana will strengthen her collaboration with civil society in the promotion and protection of human rights and create a conducive environment for civil society participation in that regard. And in conclusion, let me reassure you, Mr. President, that Botswana will continue to uphold the responsibility and mandate to strengthen international law, peace and security, promote human rights as well as the rule of law. I thank you, Mr. President.